How does it feel to uh, celebrate 25 years? Um, I, I don't think we are a nostalgic band, to be honest. We'll probably say cheers and then we continue. <laughs> but I mean, it's I think we surpassed all our dreams and goals, and now we just try to enjoy what we're doing. Really, it's uh, it's it's great. I'm super proud that we have a sound that is unique to us. You never hear people say In Flames sounds like this or that. It, it sounds like In Flames. Especially in Gothenburg, we were like a bunch of friends who had a... We loved music, we went to concerts and shit, and then we, we want to be part of part of a scene. So we tape trading and collecting music. And, you know, we all inspired each other. And Gothenburg was a really, really creative uh, music town. And, and, and we were play, playing gigs you know, every other weekend. Or there was always gigs to go to. You know. And if you didn't play yourself, you were helping out with whatever. Yes, arranged the gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we didn't know anything then. We, I mean, it was like, you know, this is pre internet kids, believe it. Uh, and um, we took all these different bands that we love, like New Wave or British heavy metal band, death metal band from Florida, thrash from the Bay Area, speed metal from Germany, and you know, old heavy metal, and mashed it together, and you had melodic metal. brings in, I mean, in a way, I, I have to start before Siren Charms, I mean, even though Niklas didn't record the previous one, he, he came into the band in a, we had a, I mean, a difficult situation in parting with Jesper and all that, in a long time member, so Niklas came in and saved the band and comes in with a lot of energy and definitely brings it out live and with his this whole attitude, so I, you know, a departing of a member, and then you should get a new member. It's it's quite difficult to find someone that would fit within the group because we are super tight and we know each other so well. And so our only choice, basically, was Nicholas. And if he would have said no, I mean, I don't know if he would exist to be honest. Uh, so he sort of saved the band. Uh, with that said, with the new one. Uh, you were recording on the album, and uh, he, uh, Nichols have a unique uh, or a different picking style. Bjorn is more loose, you're more direct, that's how I observe it, you know. It's more thrashy, and Bjorn is more old school, bluesy type of, you know, his favorite, like, you know, Richard Blackmore and, and uh, that style of play, and you have a different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but those two guys together, it's a very, very good combination. And, and it adds a certain tone and, and it changed, I mean, it doesn't change the s sound completely, but it, uh, I think uh, with Niklas in the group we have a different attack. I've been around since um, the development days <laughs> in uh, 88, I don't know, <laughs> I mean. It's a small, small club. Yeah, yeah, it's in, a small club in Oslo, in Oslo, where we started off playing. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a sound of its own, planes of course. I've been, I've been around. Of course, it's just amazing to be here. I've been able to play this venues and travel all around the world. It's wonderful. I love it. I don't think that Sarans songs could have been made somewhere else. That just answers to me. Not, not the way it sounds. No. No. It would sound different. I was in the studio a year prior just to, to visit a uh, guy who works there and I, I, I'm a, I mean, I mean, we both are like nerds when it comes to music, uh, love music and uh, amazing, amazing artists been recording there and done great, great albums. So we uh, went to Berlin and we had these six weeks to record. We had to make it happen. We couldn't extend the time or actually we didn't want to extend the time. So it was slightly different, um, but the attitude is the same, and the attitude has been the same with or without Jesper. We we want to create good melodies, and and 
you know, these days they come out in a slightly different way. And we, we have, or we have the possibility to do them on vocals, guitar and keyboards. Early days, we, it was mainly guitar. Um, so I think this has broadened our spectrum um, quite a lot. But it was stressful, it was, because everything, I didn't have anything in there, it was just a blank paper. So, to come up with melodies and lyrics and the way to sing and, and, and actually record it as well, that, that, it was quite stressful. Inspired the, the lyrics on the album. Um, well, I mean, I, my life, of course, and people that I meet and see, and, and uh, everything I write about these days, not necessarily have to happen yesterday. It could be years back. But also, I had, uh, I was watching a lot of documentaries about people in poor situations, uh, a lot of drug-related uh, uh, situations, and that really started me thinking about us as people, how we can. Uh, be so drawn to something that we know it's uh, not good for us, you know. Uh, so that's got me thinking. So the siren, siren, um, symbolize uh, all the dark and tempting, adventurous, whatever things that we have around us. I do feel and think that we need these things, and we need to explore, and we need we need obstacles in life. Uh, if we can overcome them, and then we'll become better people. Uh, it's you cannot just sail through life like it's everything is fucking great. Uh, you know that that won't give us anything. You want someone to play? I don't think we will do one of these anniversary shows. At least not right now. Though, it's, it's, history has been great. I love it. It's, it took us here. I love all the albums. But uh, no, we're not that much. I, I think it's cool that it, we create such an interest because every time we release an album, you have these people who say In Flames is the best thing since Butter, you know? And you have these people who saying In Flames is the worst thing ever. And these people are just fighting back and forth. But we create the album, we give it away to the record company and then it's out of our hands. We can't control it. We'll see. We continue doing this as long as we think it's great and we have fun and feel walking off stage feeling this is the greatest thing that you can possibly do and we'll see how far that takes us. Bands that we love like New Wave or British Heavy Metal Band, Death Metal Band from Florida, Thrash from the Bay Area, Speed Metal from Germany, and you know, all heavy metal and mashed it together and you had melodic metal.